Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking an already used heat not burn cigarette like a traditional cigarette. But why would I want to have this experience? It doesn't sound like it's going to be very good. Now, does it? And uh, yeah, I don't think this is going to be a very good experience. But I am excited to have this experience nonetheless because heat not burn cigarettes, to me at least, always feel like I'm not getting my money's worth out of them. It never really feels like I'm getting my actual money's worth out of heat not burn cigarettes, as when I smoke a heat not burn cigarette in a heat not burn device, after it's all used up, there's still tobacco in the tube, but the tube is still intact. It's not all gone kind of thing, unlike with a traditional cigarette. With a traditional cigarette, you smoke it, you get your nicotine, it's all gone when you finish it kind of thing, and you can't get any more out of it because it's turned into ash kind of thing. And you can't really smoke ash very well, now can you? But with the heat not burn cigarette, I'm thinking you might be able to get more of your money's worth out of it. It feels like you should be able to, let me just put it that way. And so I'm thinking one of the ways you might be able to get more of your money's worth out of a heat not burn cigarette is to smoke it like a traditional cigarette after using it in a heat not burn device. And so as such, that is exactly what I'm gonna be doing in today's video which I will admit I am very excited to do. But only really because I want to see if this is a way I can uh, get more money's worth out of my heat not burn cigarettes, not because I think this is going to be a good experience, because I don't think this is going to be a good experience. I am thinking the taste from the already used heat not burn cigarette is probably going to be, if I had to guess, pretty bad. I'm thinking I'm probably going to get a sort of like burn taste or something like that kind of thing. I'm really not expecting a particularly positive taste to say the least. And I'm not even really expecting to get any nicotine from the already used heat not burn cigarette. I'm not really expecting to get any. I'm figuring in the heat not burn device, the heat not burn cigarette is probably already using up all of its nicotine and everything like that kind of thing. I'm pretty sure all of the nicotine in the tobacco has probably already been used up in the heat not burn device during the first go with the heat not burn cigarette. I'm not even thinking I'm going to get any nicotine, but I don't know how good or how bad this experience is going to be until I actually try for myself. And so as such, that's why I'm making this video today, because I want to find out how good or how bad of an experience this is. And I want to find out if this is a viable way to actually, well, get more money out of your heat not burn cigarettes. Now, I do want to acknowledge, do not try this at home. I mean, like, don't smoke in general kind of thing. Smoking in general is not safe, but smoking a heat not burn cigarette like a traditional cigarette in general is even more unsafe than smoking a normal cigarette because heat not burn cigarettes generally have metal in the paper or they have like a metal thing in the in the center and everything like that to help the uh, heat evenly disperse in the tobacco and everything like that kind of thing. So today I am more than likely going to be smoking some metal as well. So do not try this at home. This is not an experience I am planning to have after this video, I will admit, even if this turns out to be a good experience for some reason, this is still not something I'm gonna do on a routine basis, just simply because I don't like smoking metal. I'll be frank with y'all. But I do suppose with all that out of the way, I should probably now introduce you guys to the cigarettes and heat not burn device that I'm going to be using in today's video. Today, I am going to be first off smoking one of my uh, Lucky Strike heat not burn uh, cigarettes uh, that I bought in Japan. This one in specific is the uh, Lucky Strike rich tobacco heat not burn cigarette from Japan. And I'm going to be using it in my uh, glow uh, heat not burn device that I also bought in Japan. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and get one of these right here, all lit up, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give it a smoke and see if it can actually smoke like a traditional cigarette and give me a good experience or not. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's what I'm using for this video, I do suppose. I'm also gonna be using my Bic lighter, I do suppose, is a, another thing I should have probably introduced since I did say I was looking to introduce all of the materials. Acorn just fell on my car. The trees I'm sitting under are trying to dent up my car. I can't believe this, you know what I'm saying? I can't believe this, but but yeah. Um, today, the, these are the cigarettes I'm going to be using. And this is the device I'm going to be using first off. And then after that, I'm going to use my uh, Bic lighter to get one of these uh, used cigarettes all lit up. And uh, then after that, I'm going to give it a smoke. But without further ado, first off, I do suppose I probably need to actually go ahead and use up one of these cigarettes right here in my Glow Hyper uh, Plus heat not burn device. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, get this pack of cigarettes all opened up. Let's go ahead and uh, peel back the foil just a little bit. Let's go and get one of these cigarettes out. And now that I have the cigarette all out, let's go and just put that foil back where it was, close the uh, 
pack of uh, heat not burn cigarettes up if I possibly can. It's really not wanting to close very well though, I will admit. There we go, got it to close. Now that it's closed and now that I have my heat not burn cigarette in hand, let's go ahead and uh, open this device all up. Let's go ahead and put my heat not burn cigarette all in just like that kind of thing. And now that it's all shoved down, let's go ahead and turn my heat not burn device all on. Let's just let it vibrate. There we go, it's vibrated, and now let's let it heat up. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and smoke the entire heat not burn cigarette until the device says it's done. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to smoke it again like a traditional cigarette. We're just seeing that bar fill up though. It's about to vibrate in just a moment, I'm thinking. Let's see, let's see, it's just vibrated. I'm getting a sort of popcorn-like smell from the device right now. Let's go and take a hit, and uh, let's go ahead and smoke the entirety of my uh, heat not burn cigarette in my heat not burn device. Yes sir, yes sir, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying. <sighs> oh, and right off the bat, very, very, very dry smoke. Like, it's to be expected, it's a heat not burn device after all, heat not burn cigarette after all. Heat not burn cigarettes, when they're used in a heat not burn device, definitely give you very, very, very dry smoke. The dry smoke definitely does not agree with me very much just because I'm not used to it, frankly put. And uh, the dry smoke definitely gives me a little bit of cotton mouth, I ain't gonna lie, but I certainly can't complain either way. The taste I'm getting right off the bat is very much a sort of, even with the dry smoke, it's a sort of surprisingly wet, sort of sweet taste, I definitely have to say. Not really like a distinctly tobacco taste or something like that kind of thing. It's just sort of like a, a sweet-ish taste, maybe with a little bit of tobacco in there. Kind of tastes like to how tobacco tastes when the vape pod says, oh yeah, it's, it's tobacco flavored vape juice. That's it's, it kind of have a taste in all honesty. It doesn't really actually taste like a cigarette or like pipe tobacco or something like that kind of thing. It kind of tastes like fake tobacco in all honesty. It's not a bad taste by any means kind of thing. Not a bad taste by any means. Yeah. Can't complain, you know what I'm saying? Can't complain. The mosquito's flying around me. Come on, Mr. Man. Get away from me. I ain't trying to get no mosquito bites or nothing like that kind of thing. That is for sure. Oof, definitely though, quite dry smoke. I gotta take a little bit of a sip of water real quick. Yeah, quite dry smoke. I don't smoke heat not burn cigarettes very often, I will admit. Another acorn hit my car. I really should not have parked under this tree in all honesty, I really shouldn't have. I'm sitting under uh, an oak tree right now and acorns keep falling down and hitting my car. I purposefully try not to park under oak trees, but uh, I just forgot to uh, not park under an oak tree today which um, even if I had remembered to not park under an oak tree, where I am right now uh, is not really the greatest place to remember that because uh, every tree where I am parked right now is an oak tree and every oak tree near where I am is uh, has branches over the parking lot I'm at. So um, yeah, wouldn't have really done me much good to remember not to park under an oak tree anyway because I didn't really have much of an option in all honesty. Nonetheless, though, the oak tree definitely trying to dent up my car just a little bit, that is for sure. The smoke now has gotten a lot more smooth. It's definitely a little bit more sweet. Still kind of has a sort of like fake-ish tobacco taste to it, I definitely have to say, but it's a very nice, sweet taste now, I definitely have to say. Much better taste than it was at the very beginning, that is for sure. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. And this just vibrated, and it's letting me know I only have a little bit more left, so I gotta go and take some more hits. I gotta make sure I fully use up this heat not burn cigarette right here after all. <sighs> Excuse me.
Oh, and I think it's dead. That is no longer, the light is no longer on, so I'm pretty sure that is all dead. So now I do suppose it's time for us to go ahead and quickly take a look at this heat not burn cigarette. And we can tell it is definitely used, that is for sure. This heat not burn cigarette is definitely used. I have now used up the entirety of this heat not burn cigarette right here. It is still quite warm but not super warm by any means kind of thing and we can see though the tobacco itself doesn't look like it's particularly used i will admit that still looks perfectly smokable to me and so as such i'm thinking maybe this will still smoke a little bit better than not maybe i'll still get a better taste from it than not not sure if i will but i'm hoping for that that is for sure i'm thinking I can only smoke the cigarette up until that point, though. I'm thinking this is probably where the metal starts and everything like that kind of thing. So I'm thinking I could probably only smoke it up until that point. Or maybe this is not where the metal starts per se, but maybe this is where like there's an extra filter or something like that. This is much more compact than right here. So I'm thinking this is the only part of the cigarette I'm going to be able to smoke. But what I'm going to do... First off is I'm just gonna wait a moment. I'm just gonna kind of let the buzz dissipate just a little bit kind of thing because right now I feel like if I got another buzz from this cigarette right here, I wouldn't be able to tell because I do have a little bit of a buzz from using this cigarette in my heat not burn device. So I'm just gonna wait for a moment. Taking a look at the filter though, we can definitely tell the filter is a little bit yellow. That is for sure. We can definitely tell this cigarette has been used up. That is for sure. But I'm just gonna wait a moment. Maybe I'll think I, I think I maybe I'll grab a little bit of a screenshot real quick. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do that real quick. I might grab myself a little bit of a screenshot as I'm waiting for the buzz to just dissipate just a little bit real quick kind of thing. I had to grab a little bit of a screenshot, you know what I'm saying? I had to do it to him. But uh, now with the screenshot out of the way, and now that the buzz has dissipated just a little bit, mosquitoes are swarming me. I cannot believe this, you know what I'm saying? They're they are coming at me. I'm wearing pants and a sweater today, and it's not even that warm. I'm like, it's warmer than not, but it's not like super warm. I'm surprised the mosquitoes are coming at me, and all honesty, must be really desperate for some blood, that is for sure. But I do think without further ado, it is now time for me to go ahead and get this already used heat not burn cigarette all it up. And it's time for me to see if I can really get my money's worth from an already used heat not burned cigarette by smoking it like a traditional cigarette. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this all it up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. Oh, right off the bat, that does not taste particularly good, I will admit, but also not super bad, definitely not the worst cigarette I've ever had, that is for sure. <sighs> definitely quite rough though, and ooh, there is a very not good taste in there. I'm pretty sure that's coming from the metal, I will admit, but I am getting a little bit of a tobacco taste as well. And the little bit of, the little bit of a tobacco taste is not terrible. It is coming through as much more burnt than not I definitely feel like I'm smoking something that was already burnt, that is for sure. But it's not like a horrible taste. I've definitely smoked worse cigarettes, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. But definitely not a very good taste nonetheless. Am I getting some nicotine from this though? I actually do feel like I am. I actually do feel like I am getting some nicotine from this. Not a lot, not a lot, but I do feel like I'm getting some nicotine from this. Very rough though. Very, very, very rough experience. Not a uh, particularly positive experience to say the least, but not as bad as I kind of imagined it being. And this is actually smoking surprisingly even and surprisingly well in general as well, which is quite surprising. Oh, oh, yeah. Not super rough, but definitely getting a sort of icky taste in there. Uh, it's coming off yeah, it's, it's more metallic than not. It's sort of a, a metallic icky taste, so I'm thinking it's probably the metal that I am getting that taste from, I will admit. But I'm also still getting a sort of like 
tobacco-like taste as well kind of thing. And that taste is, the, 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 the tobacco taste, <clears throat> if I discount that metal taste, is not all that bad, frankly put kind of thing. And I do feel like I'm getting a little bit of nicotine from this. I do think that, yeah, this is a way you can get more money out of your heat not burn cigarettes. I do think this is a viable method of doing that. Not a good method of doing it. Don't get me wrong kind of thing. This is still a much worse experience than not. But it is a way of getting more money out of your heat not burn cigarette. Let me just put it that way. And now we've hit like really thick paper. And now I'm getting a very sort of like thick paper taste as well kind of thing. I'm not even sure if there's tobacco in this area, I will admit. But it is burning, so I do feel like there probably is. But yeah, no. Interesting. This is actually a better experience than I thought. And yeah, I'm actually feeling like I'm getting some nicotine. I'm actually feeling like I'm getting some nicotine. And I feel like I'm getting more nicotine than I would get from like an ultralight or something like that kind of thing. Like I was expecting to not get all that much nicotine if I was able to get any nicotine at all kind of thing. But no, this is actually getting me like legitimately buzzed. Like I'm glad I waited to, uh, ha I'm glad I waited a minute or two to have this, to let my buzz from the actual uh, heat not burn cigarette from when I smoked it in the heat not burn device actually die down just a little bit kind of thing. I'm glad I waited a couple minutes because otherwise I wouldn't be able to register this buzz as much as I am right now. Now half the buzz is frankly, but probably coming from the metal, but I'm still getting a buzz nonetheless. And this is still staying lit way better than not. And yeah, the tobacco taste I'm getting is very much like the tobacco taste I would get from the heat not burn cigarette, but much more tobacco-y. It no longer really tastes like fake tobacco. It now tastes a lot more like real tobacco. But of course, there's a very heavy sort of metal-esque taste in there. But it's not like the worst kind of thing. And I am getting a little bit of a buzz. <sighs> oh, and that was all there was to it. Wow. This tube, from that point onward, is actually empty. That was actually all there was to it. I did not realize that that tube was actually empty, but you know, that is actually an empty tube right there. That is quite interesting. So it's really just tobacco from this point with my finger all the way to the, where the end of the uh, cigarette would be. That is pretty interesting. Well, though, well, though, um, this has been quite a surprising experience. This has been a quite a surprising experience, I will admit. And amusingly enough, if we discount the metallic taste, if we discount the metallic taste that I was getting from the heat not burn cigarette when I was actually smoking it, then the taste of the tobacco itself was actually more to my preference than the actual taste of the heat not burn cigarette in the heat not burn device. I actually preferred the taste of it smoking it normally if we just discount the metal taste and everything like that kind of thing because the metal taste and the tobacco taste they were distinctly separate but they did combine kind of thing but it's easy to tell where one ends and where one begins let me just put it that way kind of thing and yeah i definitely would have to say i prefer the taste of the heat not burn cigarette when you smoke when, when you smoke it like you're not supposed to which is wild to say, wild to say. I was not expecting a good taste at all. I was expecting I was expecting a sort of burn taste, frankly put kind of thing, but no, I got a decent taste besides the metal taste. The metal taste definitely was not great. It was, it was not great kind of thing. And the cigarette at the beginning as well was quite rough, but I got nicotine from it. I got a significant buzz from the already used heat not burn cigarette that I used in today's video. I got a significant buzz from it. I'm feeling like still decently buzzed right now. Like not super buzzed by any means, but decently buzzed still. Wow. Well, can you smoke an already used heat not burn cigarette like a traditional cigarette and get a mildly okay experience? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. This is not something I would recommend doing, to say the least kind of thing. This is not something I would recommend doing. Because, of course, smoking a heat not burn cigarette that's already used, not healthy. I mean, like, smoking in general is not healthy, but this is especially not healthy. Definitely far worse for you than a normal cigarette, just due to everything that's in a heat not burn cigarette, including the metal and everything like that kind of thing. But you can get an okay taste from it, you can get a buzz, and you can smoke it all the way to fruition. 
You can. This has been quite the surprising experience, to say the least. Well, no complaints on my behalf. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting to uh, be able to actually get an okay experience from smoking an already used heat non-burn cigarette, but here I am saying that I had an all, uh, that here I am saying that I had an all right experience. It wasn't like a super good experience by any means, but like, you know what? If I was in an apocalyptic scenario and I was all out of cigarettes besides heat not burn cigarettes and I really wanted to make sure I used my heat, heat not burn cigarettes up the best I could, what I'd probably do is I'd use the heat not burn cigarette, my heat not burn, devi burn device, try to use it again. And then after that, I'd probably try to smoke it like a normal cigarette. And that would be how I would use up my uh, heat not burn cigarettes the best of my ability. That's what I'd do. Other than that scenario though, other than in a post-apocalyptic tobacco shortage scenario. I would not do this again, just uh, due to health reasons in all honesty, not because this experience was bad, just due to because I don't want to smoke metal, frankly put. I've got no issue with smoking tobacco. I've got no issue with smoking paper. Metal though, that's a different story kind of thing. I'm not really willing to smoke metal, but, but, which is a little bit hypocritical, I will admit, but, but, I mean, this wasn't a bad experience. Not, not a terrible experience by any means. I'm quite surprised to say the least. I am quite surprised to say the least. Well, I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. I think that's pretty much all I had to say. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried doing this before. Did you guys have a good experience doing this? Yeah, let me know in the comments down below and let me know, let me know what you guys think of this experience based off of this video as well in the comments down below. You know, to summarize, yeah, you can get an okay experience by uh, smoking an already used heat not burn cigarette like a traditional cigarette, you can get an okay taste and you can get a decent buzz. Quite surprising if I do say so myself. Well, I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to well, like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. Vienna, thank you so much for watching, y'all. Till the next one, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir, yes, sir. You know what I'm saying?